This photo of Helen Lee went around the world. She was the winner of the popular prize at the European Inventor Award in 2016. When the music happened, when the spotlight is on, when the applauses were there, I have to say I was moved, not just for myself, but really for the team that has worked with me for so many years. What we do is truly teamwork and persistence over many, many years, over many, many failures. To fight a disease, you first need a diagnostic device. And this is what Helen Lee developed. Samba is a diagnostic device that detects diseases such as HIV or hepatitis B in the most remote parts of the world. When we invented Samba, the purpose is really to bring the much needed diagnostics to the developing world and where we can really diagnose the diseases at the point of care. We knew what we wanted to do couldn't be done in industry. So we left rather successful careers for University of Cambridge and to develop a technology that would take a very long time, face many, many failures along the way. The hematologist Helen Lee recognized that developing countries need mobile, simple, and above all else, rapid diagnostic tests. So the patients can find out immediately whether they've been infected with HIV, for example. A stable technology is required. The devices need to function perfectly in extreme circumstances. And here is how Samba works. First, a disposable cartridge is inserted with a chemical solution. There is no cooling required, an advantage in a hot climate. Then the blood sample is introduced. But how does Samba detect the HIV virus? Diagnosing for a specific virus or disease, it is really like identifying a particular book. There are millions or billions of books, and you need to find some signature sequences of the genetic material that allows you to identify it is this particular virus and no other virus. Instead of words, viruses and bacteria consist of four nucleic bases here referred to as A, T, C, and G. They are made up of all different kinds of combinations. In order to find the HIV virus, for instance, you need to search for the HIV-specific combination of nucleic bases. If you can find Scarlett O'Hara, if you can find these two words, you know it is gone with the wind and no other book. And it's the same idea in identifying a particular virus or a bacteria. You look for the signature sequence that is unique in that particular organism and you amplify it by billions of times, detect it, and that's really how nucleic acid amplification method works. The Samba test is extremely simple. Everything you need is already pre-packaged for you. So you don't have to mix, you don't have to take anything. So you, all you have to do is to take this cartridge into and put it right here. And the shape is such that you cannot put it wrong. It, it can only, like Lego stick, go one way. Samba is currently used in Kenya, Malawi, Uganda and Zimbabwe and more than 300,000 people have been diagnosed and could receive timely treatment. I'm 19 years old. Mm, I was sick and I taken to the hospital and I'm tested positive. Uh, it wasn't easy for me to accept. And I have six years on that. Now, um, where I would become TNT, I get noticed, not detected. So now the viral is now suppressed. I know I want my babies in the field to not become positive. Uh, I see my future is going to be good. <laughs> Before her results took about one and a half to two months to come back to the clients. Now, just a day, then I'll come and collect my results. 
it's so crucial for the patients to get the fat a lot quick. And another of Helen Lee's visions has become a reality since the award. The use of Samba to prevent HIV infected babies from dying. And see how a mother gets the results right away, how a baby can be treated earlier. It made all our, I would say, pain worthwhile. In Zimbabwe alone, the government is using Samba in more than 100 points of care, mostly for special prevention of mother-to-child transmission of HIV and their early infant diagnosis program. The government there plans to install Samba in all 1,650 health centers in the country. This is a big step towards prevention to save the lives of thousands of babies. And Helen Lee's goal to see Samba used in the developing world has, too, become a reality. Samba is currently one of the basic diagnostic devices used to detect the COVID-19 virus in many hospitals in the UK. And that's only the beginning. In many ways, to be useful, to work with the team, to be effective and make a difference is what really matters to me personally and to the company as a whole.